So 2019 is here and with the new year comes the prospect of new guns. Something that kind of excites me when I start my year. You've got SHOT Show coming up in January and then you've got the EWA Show coming up in March. Those are the two big trade shows and all the manufacturers are kind of getting their act together after long years of, or long months of, of uh, working on stuff behind the scenes and things are starting to come together. I am in Sweden at the moment. I've traveled about almost 11,000 kilometers. I'm sitting in the beautiful FX factory and I'm here to take a look at the FX Dreamlines, which were announced earlier this year, or earlier last year at EWA, but are now in full production. And I thought I'd just run you through them, show you what they have to offer, and then we're gonna head down to the range and actually take a few shots with them. But it's looking really good. Um, where should we even start? Maybe let's start by talking about what the Dreamline is, because it's a little bit confusing to many people. Basically, the Dreamline is a, a modular system. It's not uh, a whole lot of different guns. It's actually one gun or one barreled action that can be kind of made into different configurations. So um, you've got the standard rifle, which I'll show you in a moment. You've got the tactical version, which you know fits with a, a AR-15 uh, buttstock and that you can switch out and kind of customize for your own purposes. You've got a bullpup, which looks a bit like the Wildcat, but which is actually very different in, in many, many ways, and we'll discuss this in a moment. And you've got the light version, which is basically, I think it's going to be the cheapest model. It's got a rubber um, stock at the back, which can be removed almost like a takedown rifle. It's kind of a very skeletonized uh, gun, but it's going to be kind of impervious to scratches and damage and stuff when compared to the traditional uh, wooden stocked guns. So we're going to take a look at all of these, but I suppose let's start off with the features of the gun. So I'm going to take out the, <laughs> just guns everywhere here, I'm going to take out the traditional rifle over here and let's talk about it for a while. So this looks a lot like a, a streamline, like the FX streamline, and it is very, very similar in many ways. The stock is almost exactly the same. The, the feel is almost exactly the same. The fit and finish is very, very similar. But there are a few changes to the uh, adjustability, which I think was maybe the one area where the streamline was lacking when compared to guns like the Crown and the Impact. Um, so the streamline was always seen as an entry-level gun. And in a, in a sense, the Dreamline, standard Dreamline rifle, is still kind of entry level, but the the truth of the matter is you can do pretty much everything with this gun that you can do with the impact and the crown. Firstly, you won't see it here because uh, it's underneath the stock, but you've got a, a regulator that's adjustable from the outside. You basically, there's a, a hole underneath the, uh, the air cylinder where you stick an Allen key in and you can adjust the regulator up or down and Obviously, with the regulator pressure, you can adjust the hammer spring tension and balance them out, and that will allow you to basically shoot whatever you want at whatever power. If you want to set the gun down to 12 foot-pounds, you could put a really low reg pressure and get the best efficiency at that power. Or if you want to shoot at high power, you can bring the reg pressure up to match the hammer spring so that you don't have air squirting out the end of the barrel after the shot. So again, helps with efficiency, helps with um, uh, adjusting the harmonics of the gun to get the best accuracy and it's a huge huge step forward. The next major feature is the fact that you can actually switch calibers. So the Dreamline comes with the Smooth Twist X barrel system which is something that the Streamline didn't have. Streamline just have a, has a standard Smooth Twist and this barrel you can switch it out put in different barrel liners obviously that's how the, the X barrel system works but aside from that you can actually also switch calibers. So you can unscrew this pellet probe over here. This is a 22, I think. You can take it out. You can put in a 25 caliber. You can put in a 177. You can do whatever you want. So you've got all the adjustability of the impact on the crown, but in something that looks more like a traditional rifle, like the Streamline, which is very cool. Obviously, you can also, uh, you've also got the same high quality FX trigger. Uh, you've got threads at the end for a silencer if you want it, which I think I'll probably put on mine. You've got the regulator pressure over here, which is something the Streamline didn't have. 
and they've made a few changes to the stock. This, my Streamline stock, when I first got it, I got one of the early Streamlines and the stock was a bit low for my liking. This one, they've put the cheek piece a bit higher, which means you can use high rings. You can put in uh, an 18 shot 22 caliber magazine in this gun, whereas the Streamline was like 11 or 12 shots or something like that. So that's fantastic. And if you want to have low rings, you can also use a smaller capacity magazine if you really want to bring that scope low. But the, the nice thing is they've, they've put the cheek piece a bit higher, so you have the option of using bigger magazine and high rings, which is really cool. So that's the, the rifle. And just to mention that the rifle, uh, try not to fall over here. The rifle also comes in, in laminate, which I think looks really, really nice actually. So there's the laminate rifle, but let's move on to the bullpup. Gosh, where am I gonna put all these guns? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so here's the Dreamline bullpup. Looks very much like an FX Wildcat. I'll put two pictures up here so you can see the, the differences, but I hate to say it because the Wildcat is a fantastic gun, but I may actually prefer this to the Wildcat. First reason is that this gun has the full adjustability of the impact. So you've got the reg adjustable from the outside. You've got the hammer spring wheel here with your different uh, markings. So you can easily change your hammer spring tension. Um, you've got the transfer port adjustment, which is something I don't often use. But the fact is you've got all that adjustability, which is something the Wildcat, even the Wildcat Mark II doesn't have. You've got your reg pressure here. And I just like the way that this gun feels. Um, as opposed to the Wildcat. Now a big downside is that you're going to have the cocking lever at the back here as opposed to forward and that's something I think the Wildcat has uh, that's better about the Wildcat. So if you want a pure bullpup, the Wildcat's the one to get. This is kind of like a, a semi bullpup with action slightly forward which makes it kind of like a mini Bobcat or a yeah, more modern version of the Bobcat which was a great gun actually. Um, uh, basically how this changes from the rifle, you can buy the rifle and if you decide you want to configure it in, as a bullpup, you can simply buy the bullpup kit which con consists of a stock, uh, uh, like a mechanism here, trigger linkage, uh, cheek piece and the Picatinny rail which uh, attaches to the top of your normal rail to, to move it forward so you can mount a scope further forward and you can set up your rifle in bullpup configuration. So you could actually get both kits and you can use the same action if you want to go walking in the woods you can set it up as a bullpup if you want to go out into the field where it's more open you can set it up as a rifle and you've got that option which is fantastic i also really like the way that this gun cocks i think it's smoother than the wildcat um, you're going to have the larger capacity magazine 18 shot magazine which is 10 more shots than the wildcat had um, and you know when the magazine's empty, whereas the Wildcat, you actually have to mark off the magazine when you, to know when it's finished. Um, and just the way that this fires, the Wildcat's, I don't know, for me personally, the Wildcat's got a, the, the hammer feels like it's bouncing a bit, and it is actually, it's, that's to save air. It's a free-floating hammer, so that's a good thing, actually. But just the way that this feels, feels a bit smoother, the harmonics feel a little bit better. Um, so in that sense, in terms of, smoothness of operation i'd say it probably has one up on the wildcat but you know each to his own you might like a pure bullpup in which case the wildcat will be better for you with a forward cocking lever um i just like the way this is set up but they're both really cool so anyway that's the rifle and the bullpup spoken about now let's talk about the light and this is really cool actually this might be the one that sells the most i think because you've basically got something that's going to be very inexpensive to produce because FX makes these butt stocks in-house so they don't have to order those stocks from Manelli which cost a lot they're made of really nice walnut and laminate and it just adds to the end cost of the gun so everything here is made in-house and um, what's nice about this is you've got the hammer spring adjustment on the gun which is something you don't have in the normal rifle um, you've got a gun that's very very lightweight and is not likely to get damaged up damaged very easily so you don't have to worry really about scratching up that wooden stock and um, you've got your Picatinny rail over here so it's almost like an impact in that sense it feels skeletonized and it feels comfortable to to move around 
And one of my favorite features about this gun is with one simple turn over here, you can actually take the stock off. There you go, you can get it off, and it slots right back on, like so. And once it's on there, it's really solid. So you could put this thing in a backpack, you can walk around with it, and just a really simple gun, but one that you've got full adjustability with. Um, there you can see the hole at the bottom where you can adjust the regular from the outside, so just a, a pretty, pretty cool gun. Now this one, might be the one that I'm gonna take, I think. This one might be my favorite. It's a little bit, it's gonna be a bit more expensive in the light version, but in every other sense, it's very much the same. You've got the same skeletonized look at the front with all the adjustments, uh, very, very cool, but you've got an AR-15 uh, back end over here. The reason I like this is because you can, you can buy a folding stock uh, for the AR-15, or you can get something like this which you can adjust back or forward. So if you want to adjust your length of pull, you can't really do that with the other gun. With this setup, you can. So this might be the one I go for. Um, it's really, really cool, but I'm gonna get the folding stock one, put it in a backpack, and it'll be a good kind of woods walker, stuff like that. One thing that I would mention is I may not be using the Dreamline that much on my channel, basically because a rifle is better suited to a 500 millimeter barrel. I have very much been enjoying the 600 and 700 millimeter barrels just because I can get those slugs shooting a bit faster. You can shoot slugs with this gun. With this gun, you can set it up to shoot the lighter um, 19 grain 22s or 24 grain 25s from Rat Sniper, and they should be accurate and you should get enough velocity out of them. Um, I just think in terms of long range performance, my impact is still gonna be the go-to gun because I can use those long barrels without it being awkward. But for everything else, this might be the one that takes the cake and I get to use quite often. And it's got the same feel as the impact pretty much. You've got that lovely side lever here that you can operate quickly. You've got the large capacity magazine and you've got that same skeletonized feel with the bar pod basically in the same place. So you don't have to adjust the way you shoot and just overall really, really nice setup. So those are the FX Dreamlines. Um, sorry if I've spoken a long time in introducing them. You probably know all of this already from my video at Iwa and Giles's video at Iwa, but um, extra information is always good, especially if you want to buy one of these guns. Let's take them downstairs and let's actually do a bit of shooting at the range because, you know, that's where the, the real truths are told and um, you can often get a feel from shooting something and, and even hearing how it sounds when you shoot about efficiency, harmonics and um, stuff like that. So let's take just a few of these down. Let's take a few shots and let's see how they do. Right, so exciting moment. We've got the Dreamline in front of me here. This is the Dream Light, the kind of lightweight skeletonized version. And um, this is the first time I'm gonna be shooting it. I, I am looking for a few things now. Um, first impressions are important and there's a few things I wanna see. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and take a few shots down range. I have taken one or two already just to basically zero the scope a little bit so I don't miss, but um, aside from that, this will be the first time actually looking through the scope properly and shooting it. This is an 18 shot magazine, same as you get with the impact and the crown. So um, it's larger capacity than you'd get on the Streamline or the Wildcat, but it slots in basically the same as, as it would on any of the other guns. So cocking lever, that is actually the smoothest cocking lever I've felt on any of the guns. Um, it has a longer stroke, it seems, than the Streamline and the Crown, which means you're spreading that force out over a longer stroke. So some people might like that, some people might not like that, but I, I personally think it's awesome. It just makes the experience that much smoother and that much easier. Magazine slots in the side like that. And then bolt closes nice and smooth. And then you've got obviously the power adjustments over here. I've just put it on power three, which is somewhere in the middle, but I'll take a shot and then I'll, I'll reset it and, and take another one. Now, things I wanna look at here, I was a bit skeptical about the rubber piece at the back. Just, I don't, I didn't want it to be flimsy, but it feels really firm. It feels like something you can put a bit of force on without it flexing much. So you'd wanna put uh, obviously a sandbag behind you if you're shooting off a bench and you'd want it quite firm and I think it's got a bit of an, an aluminium skeleton here, if I'm not mistaken. So it makes it nice and firm. Just gonna adjust my parallax here. 
and I'll take my first shot. Oof, that's smooth. Take another one. Lovely. Surprisingly quiet, even without the silence on the end. It is threaded for the silence, as I mentioned, so you can put one on if you want to, but I've just left it as it is, and it's not loud at all. I'm gonna put it up to maximum. It's probably gonna be a fair bit louder now, but still not too bad. And you'll notice here, there is a transfer port adjust adjustment over here, so right now it's kind of um, set for 22 caliber, which is what we're shooting, but you can put it up to low if you wanna shoot like really low, like shooting rats at sub 12 foot pound or something, or up to 25 or 30 if you want more airflow. But it's set up nicely for 22. Put the power up to max. Take one more shot. Very nice. Now I must say, in terms of how it feels, um, when I shoot it, it feels pretty much exactly the same as the Streamline. Um, Streamline has a specific feel to it when you pull the trigger and shoot, or a specific sound beneath your, your cheek, and this feels pretty much the same. Wildcat feels a little, little bit different, Impact feels a little bit different, but this is very much like the Streamline, which is a good thing, because the Streamline feels great. But let's move on to the next configuration. I'm gonna take the magazine out, decock the gun, put it to the side, and I'm gonna take out the normal traditional looking rifle in laminate. Now, I don't have a bar put on here and I don't wanna mess up this beautiful stock, so I'm just gonna shoot it uh, resting on my elbow here. But same story, cock it back, really smooth, put the magazine in. Ah, light's gone off there. Right, sorry, the light just went off, so I had to quickly turn it back on, but let's take a shot. Lovely. One more shot. Perfect. Yep, feels exactly like the Streamline. Obviously, the upgrade will be the large capacity magazine and the adjustability. Aside from that, it's very, very similar to the Streamline. Um, so it's kind of something that's tried and tested, it's gonna shoot well. I'm not gonna do accuracy testing today just because this is the exact same barrel that's in existing FX guns, so there's no real need to do that. You know it's gonna shoot well. Um, one more shot just for good measure. <laughs> cool, and then let's take the mag out and move on to the last gun we have, which is the bullpup. Ah, oh, and here she is. Beautiful looking gun, very wildcatty, but obviously, as I said earlier, power wheel right here, which is awesome, I think. And adjustable regulator and transfer port adjuster. So just a more adjustable version kind of of the Wildcat. Obviously, as I said, the downside, the cocking lever is a bit further back, but I suppose that's just something you've got to deal with in a modular gun. You can't have everything, <laughs> but let's put the magazine in right over here, like that. I'm gonna keep it on maximum power just to get a feel for it. Trigger linkage feels really good. And it feels really nice to shoot. To be honest with you, I actually think this feels nicer to shoot than the Wildcat. I don't know why, it just, Something to do with the harmonics and the way everything works. It just feels a little bit smoother to me. Um, I think it will sound even nicer if I put a silence on the end, but it feels fantastic. I'm gonna put this one down to minimum and just see what it sounds like. There's that lovely large uh, capacity 18 shot magazine there. The Wildcat only has eight, so that's a big step up in my opinion. Probably worth the awkwardness of having to cock back here. Take another shot on minimum. Oof, that's nice. And one more. Right, so there you go guys. That's first impressions and first shots with the FX Dreamline. Lovely, lovely gun. I've really enjoyed um, being out here, so I suppose big thanks to FX for 
allowing me to invade their factory for a few days and um, play with their toys. But um, I'm sure you'll see this on my channel in the future. I'm going to probably do a proper review of it once I get one in a few months and um, really kind of put it to the test and shoot over the chronograph and all that technical stuff, all the nerdy stuff that you've come to know from my channel. Um, but um, I'll sign out for now and I will see you guys at Ewa, which is probably the next time you'll see this gun or maybe I'll get one before then to review. But um, it's been good chatting and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.